I guess I should start by welcoming you to the Arternal Squad. Welcome to Arternal. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> it feels incredible to be here. I feel like this conversation really started five years ago with us. Right? It's hard to believe that I was beta testing Arternal, <laughs> and now I know, and now you're I'm part working of the exactly <laughs> with Arternal. <laughs> yeah. So you're a few days in. Yeah. How does it feel? It. it feels very uh, natural. It feels like, again, this was this process that, that we've, or, or like a long conversation we've been having and an education that you've given me, honestly. Like there's been, I've given you, I guess, some education, right? Like we've Lots. had this like back and forth, this like give and take of, of information of how I've done my job as a gallery owner and a dealer. And, and then you've introduced me to the <laughs> wild world of tech that I love yeah. and and how those tools can can help us and then now meeting your engineering team yeah that Ray runs I mean it's they're incredible yeah no it's great what it's they're great. building yeah but we're I mean we're having a lot of fun building yeah uh, and going back to those days where you know we had to understand and dive deep into the industry so yeah being able to sit down and do that research with you <laughs> you know i know i wasn't the only one but you, you've done the work but it yeah. was yeah and then to be here today where you know you're a part of the team i think it's coming full circle but the journey's just beginning which is <laughs> well i think that's what also was interesting to me is that yeah. you are still like you've, you've built this incredible platform, but yet there's still so much to be done and that's thrilling to yeah, me. Yeah. And that's why I was really excited to come on board. Yeah, no, we're, we're happy. The whole squad is excited. <laughs> In terms of the gigs that you've had leading up to this, give people an understanding of like, you know, what you've been through over the course of your career. Cause almost two decades now, Yeah, right? yeah, it is. It's hard to believe. But yeah, I was thinking back because I've seen certain pretty significant changes in the art world. And I think we're at this other moment of, of real change. But yeah, starting in a one car garage in Venice Beach, LA. <laughs> so I've had this very kind of West Coast, Los Angeles um, career. And I've been able to see this art world grow and um, in, in such substantial ways and and that's been very thrilling i don't think i could if it were today i couldn't do what i did you know the art world was much smaller <laughs> and we were all changing we were doing things like websites and instagram years later and things like those kinds of digital changes i've seen but this is different this is more and this is really leveraging what um the technology can do across the different roles within a gallery mm -hmm. and that's what feels really good and different this time yeah and you hit on a great point i mean like we are very focused on each individual who you know whether it's the registrar yeah. the archivist the sales assistant the sales director you know understanding more of, of what each person has to do to get their job done how yeah. we can make it efficient and with your experience and what you're going to bring to the table is even more exciting you know from the perspective of what we're going to be able to build to continue to allow people who are in these different roles to leverage our tunnel to the best of their ability and yeah. allow the galleries to drive sales. So we like to fashion ourselves as, you know, our tunnel is outsiders with a very in-depth insider's perspective. And that's how we've been able to, to still be alive. You know, we've seen, you know, there's corpses of art and technology startups, but as much as we are tech, we're so very art, especially with the people that we continue to add to the squad and yourself. You know, how do you see yourself helping our eternal advance in this sort of outsiders with insiders perspective, but now you're, you're the insider <laughs> with yeah. us? Yeah, well, I think it's, um, I'm, I'm thrilled to be that for kind of first person, although you have a, a few other people that have come from the art world. Um, they may not have owned galleries, but they definitely understand galleries. Um, but you've got, uh, you know, you and tech, and you've done so much groundwork and education to understand inside the art world. You have an artist, mm -hmm. businessman, and Steve. And then Ray, you have this incredible engineer and running that team. And so I'm, 
I think that it's a great, it's such a, you, you're, and also Steve's a collector, so you've kind of got, you're starting to collect, you, yeah. we're kind of co starting to cover all the bases. And right. so now with me coming on, uh, I've been in the shoes of so many of the clients, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that that makes it easier for, um, the conversations about like what are your how do you want to do your business better and and it's a simpler conversation because i do have that inside yeah. knowledge and that's what i'm hoping i can add to the team with <laughs> yeah but you guys have done i mean you've done an incredible job yeah coming i know that often it's like oh you're tech you're outside <laughs> you're not like the one of us or whatever <laughs> that is I think it's, I'm hoping it's changing, right? Yeah, yeah. That the, the art world's becoming a little um, broader, more open. Yeah, I mean, so. the recent events has, has accelerated the mindset. In terms of, of, of where you think art and tech is trending to, or especially from the dealer's perspective, how do you think that tech trend from art is about to continue? Like if you're able to bring in other members of the team, mm -hmm instead of having these all these separate conversations and so many emails and all these things right. again just integrating your team mm -hmm. and everyone has to have their kind of um siloed roles but if if the the tool is integrated then yeah. there's just less redundancy and and error less room for error and yeah. more and more room for more work so burning question that probably okay. everybody wants to know <laughs> Why are you joining the, the yeah, Eternal Squad? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm wondering if it's going to be a surprise for people or not, because I think that some people that, that do know me know that I've, I'm always interested in, in new technology and, um, and ways to work better and smarter. So, mm -hmm. um, and, and I'm an entrepreneur like you. Yeah. And I think it's that entrepreneurial spirit that we've always shared. Right. And, and I think that's what kind of initially brought us together. It's like, mm -hmm. whoa, you're doing something different that no one else has done. I wanna, I wanna know you and follow <laughs> you and, and we've yeah. developed this great rapport. And I think that, so for me, um, yeah, I think our tunnel just makes a lot of sense for mm -hmm. my own interests of, and, and what I think I can um, bring to the table of um, still being in the art world, but learning about what tech can really do Mm -hmm. um, sure, there's been technology in, in the art world, but not enough and not yeah. used in the way that other industries use it. Right. Yeah, we, we, we love, you know, being able to see how it's, the tech is used elsewhere and, you know, digging deep from that tech perspective, yeah. but then building the, the, the actual product workflows in a way that can be appreciated yeah. by the market. How, how does it feel now knowing that you are here and with us. What's your 2020, what's your outlook for 2021? Yeah. Being a part of an art and technology company. <laughs> art and technology. <laughs> well, I feel like this is it, right? This is the future. This yeah. is what's going to sustain the art market mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is art technology. And you know, you and the team, our tunnel has been, been doing this like no one else. And I think that that's what's thrilling to me. And also like, it feels like there's a purpose yeah. This is like a purpose-driven business where there's so much that can help people. And so, yeah, it feels, it feels good. It feels like, oh yeah, there's something I can do for the art world yeah. in a real way. When you think about how you got to this decision, mm -hmm. as, you, as you were coming into the understanding yeah. that you wanted to be a part of yeah. this team, yeah. you know, what was leading up to your internal conversation that allowed you to got, get yeah. here, you know? Well, I think it's, it's knowing what you've already built, but I will say it's also knowing what you're going, what you're building right now. And I think those were some of the thrilling things. Mm -hmm. All these developments that we've, yes, we've talked about them, but they're real yeah. and they're really coming. And I'm excited about that. I think that probably was the moment that like, wow, he's still, he's, this is not just some CRM that I was in love with, you know? Right, right. It was like, it's already great, you know? Yeah. Like, fantastic and never been done before, right? Yeah. For the art world, the way it works with data and all of that. No one's done it. And, but now that I see the possibilities mm -hmm. and what, what's to come, it's, it's yeah. mind blowing. You can oh, yeah. dig in with our engineering team. You can dig in with our client yeah. success team. 
there's just so many aspects as as you've seen in this you know few days yeah. of like what we're doing that you know we're thrilled to to have you here. <laughs> When it comes to the state of the union of the art market from yeah. Mary Lee's perspective, <laughs> what, what is that today? Yeah, well, I think that I think the outlook is good. Actually, I'm super optimistic. I think that we've we've weathered some difficult times, to say the least. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. leave it at that. Um, but I do think that there, it's a moment to to slow down and assess because we're not all traveling so much. So it's, it's sort of a, it's a blessing and a curse, right? You're feeling like you're missing out on certain ways of doing business, but at the same time, maybe you're able to focus on your business more and, and get ready for the future. And yeah. I, I do think it's coming. I think that collectors have still been buying art. Um, there's potential for more sales as far as secondary market sales to be coming up as people are having time to assess their collections. Mm -hmm. I just think there's, I think the outlook is, is really positive yeah. for the art world. But I do, I do think that there's always room for improvement. You understand, you've, you've, you've spent thousands of dollars yeah. on, on booths. You I've know, done over 60 art fairs. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. <laughs> you know, that and more, people have done way more than that, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So. You know the pitfalls, you know how to drive successes. There's yeah. other things that you're like, oh, if I had this, I'd be able to do yeah. X. That's the part that can generate yeah. that incremental value that you know we're excited about continuing yeah. to build. So, yeah, I mean, like like I've been saying, like the journey's only started. <laughs> yeah. So that's what's exciting. That's what yeah. we're you know incredibly excited to to you know have your perspective on, um, and then continue to be able to build industry leading technology. How has tech influenced your life? You know, yeah, since you were young till now. It technology, we, we can't ignore it, right? <laughs> exactly. It's here, it is happening. Yeah. And I think that come, that added, my own personal attitude towards it um, is, is part of my interest in our journal. Right. It's and like, this is really good technology and um, it's being built so well and that's, I wanna be a part of that. Yeah. In terms of your peers who are, you know, <laughs> now seeing this news, how do how do you believe they will embrace, you know, the, this this next phase, Mary Lee? <laughs> I, mean, I, don't um, I don't know. I think that um, again, I think that people know that I'm I've been interested in in sort of the business of art, mm -hmm. and while I've I love working with artists and helping produce produce works or whatever it is and working with clients and museums. I think this gives me a chance to um, really help the build a better infrastructure. And I know we've been talking about, that's not like a sexy word at all, but, <laughs> but infrastructure is really important and it can be sexy actually. Yeah. Like yeah. our terminal we've talked about is fun to use. Yeah it makes it actually enjoyable to, to do that kind of work that has to be done. And I do see that helping set up better infrastructure for, for kind of everyone, galleries, collectors, art advisors, will help artists. And again, it's part of this like, I'm just attracted to that idea that I, I feel a part of the, the whole ecosystem in, mm. this, in a role like this. Do you feel that way with oh. what you, you're, you must feel that way. That's yeah. why you're doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I eat, sleep, and breathe the art world. Yeah. <laughs> like, when I think about it, this, is my my since 2012, so like my eighth year yeah. in the industry. And so you know, when I look back, I'm like, shoot, did I spend did I did I spend these last eight years well? <laughs> but but I like you need time. So I'm like, oh shoot, like I'm yeah. it, it's it's amazing that I've been able to spend this time and build the relationships that I have because it's only going to help to accelerate what we're doing. Yeah product wise and it's a relationship industry. So, yeah. you know, that's what's also incredibly important. When you think of people who are watching this be like, oh, should, should I think about an art and tech transition? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people are good? <laughs> yeah. like, maybe, well, yeah. maybe are, like, yeah. how would you, like, what would that conversation look like if somebody sent you a note or a text message? Oh gosh, um, as far as if they, well, I, I feel like what's happening right now is growing. And I think, you know, we're growing the team. I mean, the, it, and so I'm, I think there's plenty of room for more people in art and tech. Mm -hmm. And especially 
with building out the different um, suites and products, and there's it, there's a lot that tech can do as you yeah. as you've shown me. Yeah. And so I th I think there's absolutely room for people, but also if I think that having a better understanding of what how it can be applied to the art world. Yeah. I'm, I'm open to have those conversations. And I think I, I've been fortunate to have um, a group of like women founder friends that happen to be in tech and VC. And I got a glimpse into what that's like. Right. That this felt right. And this is where the art world's going and has to go. Yeah, I mean, we're excited. I think that accelerated mindset that recent events have, have you know, it, or is now programming people to think better about how technology can enable their business rather than it being like this distant cousin, <laughs> you know, but embracing what tech can do to help, you know, make their jobs easier, drive more revenue and help deepen the relationships that they foster. Because this business is all about building relationships uh, and, and being able to help artists continue to create and without the business side <laughs> yeah you can't sustain that creation side you mentioned that your husband's the angelino yes but you, you spent <laughs> I've a been lot here of, for a long time now <laughs> exactly what does the la uh, art scene you know mean to mary lee yeah oh it's so important to me i feel that um like i've i've seen it grow so much and it's been so gratifying and i've had great you know, mentors and some of the galleries that have that have actually been here now, a lot of them are going on 20 years and 20 plus years. Um, some have have retired and, and moved on, but we still we now have these sort of um, uh, very substantial spaces here and our museums have grown. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're right down the street from LACMA. Let's go, we'll go take a walk and exactly. go see what's going on over there because yeah. If you just look and I mean, all our museums have undergone um, major growth mm -hmm. and, and major collaboration. And I think also our smaller nonprofit spaces have gone through amazing collaboration right. and growth. And, and I think the LA scene it, for galleries is already so collaborative. It, mm -hmm. it kind of always has been. It's just a different um, type of um, culture here. Yeah, yeah. And every city has their culture, right? So true. So, so true. Um, yeah, I do love LA though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, LA is great. Um, I, I mean, I love all the cities that I'm born in, being Jamaica, I grew up yeah, in being yeah, Toronto. You, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like you know. Toronto too, but I haven't been in so long. So. <laughs> yeah, New York and then LA, but yeah. yeah, LA, LA is great, especially at this time yeah. of year. Yeah, <laughs> exactly.